So, Dr. Everlin, is the concept of foresight, as you discuss it in, in your book, limited to biology? Oh, no, David. It's not <laughs> limited to biology at all. We see foresight everywhere. In every field of science that you study, you, you see it. It's, it's um, so obvious and so evident and uh, so numerous. We see many different cases. As I also mentioned in my book, if you look at the universe, you find many, many cases of foresight. For instance, if you um, would like to have life in this universe, you would have to select a place to put a planet mm -hmm. uh, for, for life to develop in that planet. And a, a mind without proper foresight could look for a safe place. But the, sa the safe place could be safe just for a short while. Mm -hmm. So there are many, many, many things that had to be anticipated in regard to the place where to put the planet to have life on it. And we see that clearly on Earth, there, there, we could detect more than a thousand problems that had to be solved in advance for life to be able to develop on Earth. So we, we look at the place where the Earth is now. It's in this galaxy, the Milky Way, which is the is a perfect galaxy. It's spiral, but it's planar. So. There's a lot of activity in the center, but we are far away from the center. And since it's, it's a plane, all the planets and stars which lie in, in, in this plane, they protect us from the uh, activity in the center of the galaxy. They, they work as shields. Mm -hmm. And so we are far away from the uh, dangerous place. We are protected by this uh, planets and stars with light within the plane. And also we are close to one of the arms of this galaxy. But we are uh, close enough to see the stars, everything that is in this arm. But we are also far enough so we will not be endangered by the activity of those stars in the arms. Uh, uh, Earth could also be placed in the really um, dark and far away place uh, with no stars around, but that would be boring. <laughs> we will look at the skies and see nothing or very few stars. So, you know, this is a, a really interesting act of foresight that was not only looking for safety, not only looking for uh, 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 long-lasting uh, safety place, but it was also looking for fun, for <laughs> a place that we would be able to contemplate the, the, the stars, the multitude of stars that are in this universe. So we are the place where the Earth is. I like to call it the presidential suite mm -hmm. of the universe. There's no better place. <laughs> it's calm, beautiful, safe, long lasting. Mm -hmm. But it also provides us with a great view of the universe. Mm -hmm. But what we see is far away from us. We, we, we are not uh, threatened by those uh, explosions of stars and things that could happen. So it's indeed a really nice example of an act of ingenious foresight exactly where the earth is you look at the stability of that place for instance uh, the sun uh, there have been some calculations and they uh, have predicted that the sun is, will be stable for five billion years mm -hmm. five billion years mm -hmm. so um, we know that many stars in this universe, they will not be stable for five billion years. They will explode quite soon. But the sun is stable for five, will be stable for five billion years. Some people are worried. They say, whoa, five billion years? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm, pre <laughs> I'm fully satisfied by five billion it's years of safety. Enough, it's enough, yeah. It is. <laughs> okay.